I heard you guys and you want more air fryer recipes. And these air fried zucchini chips are not gonna disappoint. Hey guys, I'm Yumna, AKA Feel Good Foodie. And one of my favorite things to make in the air fryer is vegetables. Throw Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli, whatever in there. And it creates the best texture and best taste to give that vegetable a fair chance of being liked even by the pickiest eaters. These zucchini chips are no exception. They're crispy, they're cheesy, and they're so easy to make for a snack or an appetizer. So let's get started because I'm making myself hungry. So we're gonna start with a normal dredging station. We're gonna have a flour station, we're gonna have another one for egg and milk, and a third one for panko breadcrumbs, cheese, and some spices. So to one egg, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of milk and whisk that all together. And this is one cup of panko breadcrumbs and I'm gonna add to it one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can also just use pre-seasoned breadcrumbs. Mix it all together. If the panko breadcrumbs you're using are too coarse, you can also consider running this through a food processor so everything is nice and thin and it just sticks a little bit better to the zucchini. We've got our three stations ready to go and now all we have to do is slice some zucchini, dredge it into all three, and then air fry it. So I have about a medium to large size zucchini and I like to slice them about one fourth inch in thickness. And now we just take a piece and throw it in the flour. The flour absorbs all the moisture from the zucchini. The egg and milk helps it bind together when you add the breadcrumbs on top. And the breadcrumbs are the best part to add the crispy texture on the outside. And it helps to use two fingers when you're doing this as much as possible, a wet finger and a dry finger. And make sure to press the coating on top so that it sticks to the egg mixture as much as possible. And this is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna set it aside and repeat for the rest of the zucchini. And this mixture is actually really good for two medium zucchinis. All right, here's what they're looking like. So now it's time to pop them in the air fryer at 400 degrees for eight minutes. It's a really good idea to preheat the air fryer beforehand because it just ensures that everything cooks evenly and that it's already hot when the zucchini goes in there. So it creates the best texture. When you add the zucchini to the air fryer, make sure you're adding them in a single layer because that's just gonna ensure that it doesn't overlap, it doesn't get soggy, and all the edges get nice and crisp. And you can either spray the air fryer basket or spray the zucchini or spray both of them together in the air fryer. So halfway through, it's a good idea to flip the zucchini chips just so they get nice and crisp on both sides. While the zucchini chips are cooking, it's a good idea to go ahead and make a dip to serve it with them. This is also really good with marinara or ranch or any dip you like. So for this dip, we're gonna use half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a fourth of a teaspoon of dill. Mix it all together. All right, you guys, look how good these look. They smell so cheesy and delicious. They look really crispy. And look at that texture right there. They look so good, they smell so good, and I cannot wait to dig in. I like to garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley, especially on the dip like this, just to kind of freshen it up a little bit. All right, time for a taste test. Mmm, so good. There is so much to love about this recipe, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you do make these air fryer zucchini chips, please tweet me, tag me, Facebook me, or send me a message on my website and let me know that you made them. I love to hear about your recreations and I love to see all your wonderful photos. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with friends and family and I'll see you guys at the next video.